And here we are folks, the chocolate strawberry Oreos. Now, I don't know if this is something that they're gonna be doing for Valentine's Day, or as I like to call it, Singles Awareness Day. But I'm gonna try them out right now. I have to say I'm very skeptical. Chocolate and strawberry? Never really been a favorite of mine. Alrighty folks, smells like, smells like the Swedish fish Oreos. Just kidding, definitely doesn't smell like the Swedish fish Oreos. And all right, everybody, what's going on? It is currently Tuesday, the 24th of January. It is the first day of my final semester of college. Couldn't be any more excited. I'm just gripping with excitement. Seriously, can't you tell? I'm still sick, of course. <laughs> I did manage to get out on a ride this morning that turned into an absolutely freezing ride. So which then led me to come back home. Getting better, but yeah, getting better. We'll just put it that way. Anyways, I just got to the store and my next class is about 2.30, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got, do some cleaning and then head to class and then, yeah, come home and do the usual. We have chocolate strawberry Oreos. Probably seen these uh, around your grocery store, so I'm gonna give those a shot. I'm gonna try them out. Now, I'm not a huge Oreo fan, but of course, just because I am a foodie and this is a food channel, I had to try those out. Next thing that I'm curious to try out right here, guys, squid steak. This is interesting on many different levels. Um, new things I just have to try, just like Oreos right there. I have to try this, and I have no idea how to prepare this, but I'll be attempting to do that tonight. Next, we have very medley frozen fruit. Then, we've got some broccoli as well for tonight. Mushroom, snap peas, gonna do a little stir fry. After that, we got some more of the corn meatless beef strips. So these, I don't know guys, I actually really, really like the way these tasted and the macros on them are pretty solid. Most of these fake meats usually have uh, a decent amount of fat in them, but for the most part, these are uh, these are pretty solid. So I'm gonna probably do those with the stir fry tonight. And then of course I had to get more Powerade Zero. Wanted to get them, they were on sale for 69 cents. More yogurt, more uh, cashew milk right there. Then got some celery right here. Might get tangled on me. Baby broccoli, frozen broccoli. Um, Icebreakers, I love these. Raspberry, trying a new flavor. I usually get watermelon. Last but not least, oatmeal. Anyways guys, that is the grocery haul for tonight. Uh, stay tuned for the next part of the video. Now guys, I know I have pretty much the same meal, but if you find a food that works for you and brings you energy and you also enjoy the taste of it, eat it which is pretty much why I eat the same thing every single day. And already folks, we had our oatmeal. We're off to the gym. Let's cue that uh, typical Eric music right about now. triple no words just deadlifts no but really guys I'm like still shaking from that um I don't even know what to say I'm just fucking stoked in before snap city and alrighty guys my hair Again, all over the place. I just finished up with some editing, put up my first Electra recipe in quite some time up on the channel right now. I completely forgot what I was gonna make for dinner. I do know that I have pans out. Ah, it came to me. Now I'm gonna admit I have no idea what to do with these squid steaks, but I'm gonna put one of these in the oven and I'm gonna grill one of them. We'll see which one tastes better.
It's hard for me to genuinely not like something. I don't think this is something I'm genuinely not going to like. I'm just really curious as to what it's gonna taste like. I've had raw squid before, so I don't really think this is gonna to be too much different. Like I said, guys, it's really hard for me not to like something, as long as it's not avocado. Ugh, avocado. Pretty damn chewy, but I don't hate it. And if you guys love peanut butter like me, and you wanna change things up, check out what I've been making lately. I'm telling you guys, you really gotta try this one out. My favorite way to eat it is right on top of rice cake or bread, but I don't have any bread right now. This is the first time I've driven to class in a long ass time. <laughs> Rhetorical criticism and power and discourse in society. So I have to write three research papers already and um, the other class is actually really cool. That's about all I have to say about that. It's time to go home and um, edit more videos. Cheers. Not bad. They call me the cauliflower master. And a culinary genius as well. I wish. And here we are folks, the chocolate strawberry Oreos. Now I don't know if this is something that they're gonna be doing for Valentine's Day, or as I like to call it, Singles Awareness Day. Forever alone, forever alone. But I'm gonna try them out right now. I have to say I'm very skeptical. Chocolate and strawberry? Never really been a favorite of mine. But let's try these out. Alrighty folks, it smells like, it smells like the Swedish fish Oreos. Just kidding, definitely doesn't smell like the Swedish fish Oreos. I'm definitely not one to go out and buy Oreos, but these have been getting a lot of hype lately and I kind of wanted to try them out. A cream filling though, money shot. I gotta say, I'm actually pretty surprised. Pretty sweet. There is like a, well I mean they're Oreos, of course they're sweet. I, I need to get better with my reviews. I say sweet too much. It's a very vague term. <laughs> These have like a little like, so if you guys can see like right there, there's like a center of strawberry on the inside, which is awesome to bite into. I get more strawberry than anything. I get very, very, very little chocolate in this. Um, yeah, I mean, if I were to get an Oreo, it definitely would not be these. It would be the uh, cinnamon bun Oreos. Those are fire. Other than that guys, it's an Oreo. So you really can't go that much more into detail. If I were to rate these bad boys, eh. Six and a half out of 10. Another one. Fuck. Sorry, there's just like so much running through my head. <laughs> I have like these epiphanies and uh, fuck it. Guys, I've, uh, I've been struggling a lot lately. I feel like there's no shame in admitting that. Um, there's no, there's nothing wrong with that at all. I was listening to a really uh, insightful podcast uh, earlier today and um, it was all about stress anxiety, fear. To sum it all up, the best thing that I took away from it is with without all of those things in our life, um, without all of these things that cause us fear, anxiety, um, stress, paranoia, um, life would fucking suck. We wouldn't, we wouldn't get anywhere. 
And that's where I'm at lately with, with my life. I wake up and uh, now that I just don't have the motivation to be the old Eric, I'll put it that way, um, I'm left with this huge emptiness within uh, my life. Uh, I talked about it on my podcast as well, my last one I just put up and uh, you know, I, I used uh, cycling, I used um, fitness, I used uh, gym time, I used all this, this activity to fill this uh, void in my life for such a long time and um, now that I don't really have the desire to do that anymore, I'm left without a lot of, uh, well just say I'm left with a lot of uncertainty and um, I've been struggling with that uncertainty. And I feel like there's no shame in me admitting that at all to you guys. And uh, I feel like, you know, training sessions that I just had really put in put me into a better place. They make me realize that I have a fucking passion for, for getting stronger. And uh, I'm talking about physical strength, um, which is only one aspect to, to who I am. Um, or actually, really isn't even who I am. I'm so many different things, as cliche as that sounds. Um, but at the end of the day, it's a shame that after all these years of, of going through uh, different phases of, uh, we'll just say a shit ton of wheel spinning, <laughs> a shit ton of wheel spinning. I wake up every day and do everything the same. I wake up, I turn on my coffee maker, sit down in front of my computer, read a bunch of comments, think about everything that I have to do for the day that's gonna cause me all this shit ton of stress and anxiety, everything, uh, think about my workout that I'll have that day, think about all the things that I'll need to do, think about every fucking thing that I'm obligated to do, that I think I'm obligated to do. When in reality, the cool thing about life is you can do anything you wanna fucking do anything again as fucking cliche as that sounds it could be any goddamn thing in the world anything people are going to judge you people are going to tell you that you're wrong people are going to tell you that what you're doing is wrong what you stand for is wrong but it doesn't fucking matter what they think whether it's your friend your family member anyone it does not fucking matter i built up this identity for myself as eric the electric eric the electric the the food challenger guy. Everyone fucking watches me eat food on camera. That's what my channel is about. I get that. It's kind of fucking cool. But then it gets old after a while. I get I get I get over it. I get bored. I get bored with fucking making the stupid same shit over and over again. I want so desperately to be able to change what I put out there. Because this is a passion of mine. I love putting out shit for you guys. I love making videos. I love um, the the feedback I get from loyal subscribers. You guys aren't fans. You're subscribers. You're friends. I consider you my friends. I love it. I love reading mean comments. I love it. I love troll comments. I just, I, it's, it's. I think that anybody would be lying if they if they said they didn't, uh, you know, get something out of that. You know, any big YouTuber, you know ask them because without those rude comments without those hate hateful comments without uh, drama without all this shit it would be boring as fuck I was just saying earlier it would be boring so this is a new year I mean granted I'm basically a month into this year right now and uh, I've already achieved so much within this you know strength phase we'll call it a strength phase but in reality it's so many it's so many other things that I'm changing about myself Change is really fucking scary. It really is. But each day that I wake up and whether it's something small or something big, if I tweak something differently and I realize that I'm I'm still the same person at the end of that change, and at times I'm even a better person because of that change, that's all that fucking matters. Anyways, guys, I'm not gonna rant anymore. This has been way too long, but this is just me being real. Later. This is the part where I can say the fitness joke. Fitness? Fitness whole cupcake in my mouth. Let's go again. Be one.